People have called orgasms a lot of different things throughout history. Heaven, a little death, high tide, but whatever you call it, women are having a lot fewer orgasms than men. Well, when they have sex with men. So what's causing this female orgasm shortage and what does it have to do with porn? In a 2018 study of newlywed heterosexual couples, 87% of men reported consistently experiencing orgasms compared to only 49% of women. This is consistent with an earlier study where 95% of heterosexual men reported that they usually orgasm during sex compared with 65% of heterosexual women. Women are having fewer orgasms than men, but why? No, it's not that the female orgasm is a complex, elusive mystery. Lesbian women reported orgasming 86% of the time. And men and women take the same amount of time to orgasm when they're masturbating on their own. Four minutes. Rather, it might be a matter of education. Research suggests that people tend to mirror the sex acts they see depicted in porn. And when it comes to sex ed, 30% of teenagers in one study said porn was their primary source of sex education. So when most mainstream, easily accessible porn focuses on male pleasure, shows men having 65% more orgasms, and receiving more oral sex than women, real life sex can start ignoring female pleasure too. And that's how sex can start to become synonymous with penetrative penis and vagina intercourse. And other sex acts that focus on female pleasure just get ignored. And it's not just sex. The orgasm gap can also be linked to masturbation. According to one study, a quarter of male respondents reported masturbating almost every day, compared to 8.7% of women. And just over 20% of women said they had never masturbated in their lifetime. Masturbation is super important because oftentimes we're not taught to explore our own bodies, to know what it is that titillates us and brings us pleasure, let alone to communicate that with a partner. But there's nothing to communicate if you don't know. And the first way to really get to know yourself and what brings you pleasure is to touch your body. But masturbation is not only healthy, it's a major part of wellness. Masturbation is mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation has known effects for lowering stress, for um, increasing happiness, and actually has a lot of physiological aspects that occur in the body, including lowering cortisol, the stress hormone, which is the same thing that happens when you masturbate. So if porn helped create the orgasm gap, can it also fix it? Balesa Plus is a brand new market disrupting platform of porn that includes Balesa Studios and Partner Studios, which has content geared both towards male and female pleasure equally. Balesa's approach to closing the orgasm gap is to put the power back into the performer's hands and really allowing people to enjoy the sex that they're having. Balesa, where Balesa Plus is hosted, is on a mission to close the orgasm gap and achieve sexual equality. Balesa does this through its online platform focused on female sexuality that offers erotic stories, sex ed, sex toys sold through Balesa Boutique, and their original porn series, Balesa House. Balesa House depicts unedited, unscripted content where the performers can actually pick who they want to work with and they can have sex exactly as they want. So they communicate with their partner what they want to do. And it's actually depicting for the audience real sex that people want to have. Porn attracts billions of viewers and dollars in revenue each year, giving it huge influence in both our lives and our economy. With more comprehensive sex ed, a culture that destigmatizes masturbation, and porn that prioritizes female pleasure, it's possible that women can start taking their pleasure into their own hands and feel good doing it. <laughs>